Fox 5 Tech Report, powered by Coleman University. We've all heard that rice might be able to save a water-damaged phone. But there's a household product that actually might dry it out faster. Ooh, really? Rich DeMiro, tell me, tell me, tell me in today's tech report, what is it? If it's not rice. I, I, this is so exciting. Uh, they tested couscous, couscous, instant oatmeal. Okay. Wow. Couscous. Uh, what was the other one? Rice. Uh, there's a couple other things. But uh, here's the deal. There's something that's probably around your house that actually takes the water out of that wet phone even better than writes itself. Summer can be a seriously dangerous time for smartphones. Gazelle actually sees about a 34% increase in broken devices that are traded in in the month of July. That's Amy. The last name is Rice, R-I-C-E, and I am a gadget expert at Gazelle. Yep, Rice, as in the stuff you've heard you should put your phone in when it gets wet. But they found something better. One of the things that we actually recommend, contrary to popular belief, is to not put it in a bowl or a bag of rice. So who's Gazelle and how did they come to this conclusion? They're one of the most popular places to trade in your old phone for cash. They'll even take damaged devices. We wanted to see what was true, what was not. We did a little myth busting of our own to see what worked. They put phones in rice, oatmeal, even couscous. Here we go, let's see what happens. So if your phone isn't water resistant and takes a dip, try what Gazelle found to work best. First, turn it off and leave it off. Then give it a shake to rid excess water. If possible, take off the back, pop out the battery, and remove any SIM or memory cards. Then try a wet vac to suck water out of the ports and a hair dryer on low. Resist the urge to bake your phone in the sun. While air drying work best, if you feel the urge to put your phone in something, try crystal style cat litter. Yep, save the rice for dinner, but you might want to try to find an unscented version. You want to give it some time to rest, recuperate, and ensure that you don't get that zap feeling, perhaps, if you happen to turn it back on too quickly. If your phone still doesn't work, try selling it to Gazelle or buying one of their pre-owned models. All right, here's the thing. When you're using this kitty litter, you know, you're desperate. You want your phone to turn back on. So this is one of those last-ditch efforts. You know, you got to shake out your phone, let right. it dry out as long as possible. Wow. That's really the trick here, Raul. Cat litter. Um, Cat litter. you got to let your phone dry out. I know. Well, it's crazy. But uh, it makes sense because think about it. Sure. It's going to absorb the liquid, <laughs> and that's what it's there for. And yep. it's going to take that liquid out of the phone, and that's the important part. Brilliant. But let your phone sit for as long as possible. Brilliant. Never thought of that. Yeah. Only Rich Demure. Only Rich. And that lady named Rice. My name yeah, means Rice, say, Rich. And, did and you know that? And the people that did the test. Yeah. Rich, my name means Rice. What's that? Does it really? Mm -hmm. It's a Persian grain of rice. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. What? <laughs> Rich says, okay. okay. Rich doesn't care. Nope. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't.